paquet de beaux services. No, Baba. People said you can do what I want. That is why I came here. I don't want that man alive. Yes. He has to die. Because he may come back and do me great evil. I'm here, sir, to employ you to give your life to Jesus, sir. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Otherwise, I'll call the cops. Get out. to him. Turn your back to Bola Gesin to show to him that you are against him with all your heart. that he was shot in the chest. Oh yes, but the whole thing looked so mysterious. Mm -hmm. He was at the dining table with his family mm -hmm. when they suddenly heard a loud sound of a gun. Then they saw blood gushing out of Mr. Golagas' chest and mouth. Um, Mr. Martins. Yes, Mr. Chairman, sir. What arrangements have you made with his people concerning his burial? Um, we have informed his people in his own town and then we have prepared a place for his wife and his children to stay temporarily when they arrive from London. That's good. 
Um, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Chairman. Make an arrangement to pay Mrs. Bolagashi the gratuity of her husband, including a three month salary. He has served this company for about 10 years now, including being our London office managing director. Make an arrangement to pay the money immediately. Yes, sir. There are about 35 staff members in the London office, so we must send another man to take up the work of the managing director as soon as possible. We will hold a meeting to that effect tomorrow afternoon. Yes, sir. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. Baba, you did not fill in the first assignment. You must not pay me this one too, Baba. That man has vacated the post. Mm -hmm. He's now dead. His dead body will be brought back home from London. Mm -hmm. I must be nominated to take up the post in London. Mm -hmm. I must be the managing director over there. Mm -hmm. Young man, tomorrow evening, you must come here for a special issue. When coming, bring along with you a black fowl. What you tell her? We shall perform the ritual and no one else shall be nominated as the next managing director but you. Oh, you. Ah, no, Papa. Tomorrow evening will be too late. The meeting for the nomination is taking place tomorrow afternoon. So we have to do something. And if tomorrow afternoon will be too late, then come back tomorrow morning. I bring along with you a black fowl, which I perform the ritual. Oh. But tomorrow morning cannot work. Now I have to go to work. I can't. I can't. I can't be absent from work. Okay. Sure. Okay. Do best, yeah. uh, then go home right away. Go and look for a black fowl. We shall perform the ritual tonight. Oh no. Tonight. <laughs> Hey, don't be. Hey, don't be. Oh, no, more. They want to walk over and wise it. I know why they are. Why are you? 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 is open in London and only three of us, Mr. Dewali, Mr. Mayowa, and I are qualified to fill the post of the managing director of the London branch. Hmm. But only one person can be chosen out of the three directors. Hmm. But uh, Mr. Dewali and Mayowa are not unbelievers. They are stuck ones. Mm. But still, we have to pray. To know the mind of God. Mm. We want the Lord to have His way. Because mm. personally, I so much desire the post. Because it's going to be a great promotion to whoever is choosing mm. out of the three directors. Because the person we have to go with, it is family. Mm. So we are going to pray that the counsel of God should come to pass. Mm. So, Tope. Yes, Daddy. We are going to pray. You will pray first. Shola. Yes, Daddy. Hmm. And you too will pray that the Lord should, 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 should let me go to London. So that I can take you and mommy to London and you will be going to your school there. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. And me too. Yes, and you too. And you too. So you will pray first and then Shola you will pray and mommy will pray 
Then I will pray. All right? All right. Very good. Because of the 35 staff members in the London branch office who have been operating without a board to coordinate or supervise their operations, we need to send one of the senior staff in this headquarters office to London to take up an assignment as the branch managing director over there. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, out of the three senior directors that we have in this headquarters office, one will have to be chosen. And I have the conviction of choosing um, um, Mr. Bade Mayowa as the new London Branch Managing Director. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Mr. Bayo. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. With the appointment of Mr. Badi Mayawa, arrangements have been made for him to leave this country this week. I resume work in London next week Monday. His family can join him anytime later. <laughs> and I would like to bring to your notice another appointment in this company. Like all you are aware that I've been combining the high responsibility of an executive chairman with the task of a daily administration of this uh, headquarters office. This idea came into my mind yesterday night and I have to make a decision as fast as possible. So I've, I've always been the chairman and managing director, but today I would like to separate the two assignments, thereby creating a seat for the managing director to handle the administrative operation of this headquarters office. As a result of this, I have the conviction of appointing Mr. Ola Martins as the managing director of the head office of this company. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Martins, ah. congrats. Congratulations. Congrats. And with that announcement, we end the emergency meeting of today. Thank you.
despite all those midnight rituals I made with that witch doctor, despite all the midnight rituals, no, no, something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong. Baba, look, I can't understand why you have to miss that post despite all those rituals. Even the post of the managing director of the head office even went to somebody else. Perhaps that must secure the post by stronger witchcraft power. Ah, Baba, so what you are telling me now is that you cannot help me to even secure the post. You know, I created the vacancy myself by removing the former managing director. Baba, you helped me to do it. You shot the man's image here and he died over there. I created the vacancy. Why should somebody else occupy the vacancy I created myself? I made many rituals, even to create the vacancy. And I spent a lot, even to, even to occupy the vacancy. Why should somebody else take it up? Tell me, Baba, why should somebody else take it up? What do you want us to do now? Do, Baba, do anything. All I'm interested in is that I want to be the managing director of our London office. Do anything, Baba. I will surely do something. I will surely do. Baba, that man is scheduled to resume, resume in the London office on Monday. So we'll be leaving Nigeria by Friday. Uh, it is not yet too late to do something. We can disturb him from going. We can place obstacles on his ways. And we can allow him to get there. And then keep him. Just as we did to the former managing director on the seat. Which one do you opt for? Look, Baba, I'm ready to pay any I'm ready to pay any amount and I'm ready to do any ritual. What I'm interested in is the post of the managing director of the London office. Baba, do whatever you think is best. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. How are you? Fine. How's your mom? She's fine. about your promotion as the head of his managing director. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we really thank God for it. I believe that is the will of God for me and I am grateful unto God for what he has done <laughs> concerning the promotion. He will not be able to come to the office tomorrow morning. So we, we decide to come and pay you a thanks for <laughs> and to give you a message. Mm -hmm. What message? A send-off song? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The Lord just 
minister to me to come and give you a special message. Eh? What message? <laughs> Actually, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me to come and give you a short message, a special message. Eh? 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 But you have spoken the word of the Bible several times to me in the office before, Mr. Matthews. And I've made my stand clear to you. Please, please, don't let us bring up the matter again. No, no, no. Look here, Mr. Mayowa. We wouldn't have come here to tell you this special message if the Lord had not sent us here. The Lord expressly spoke to us to come and tell you this special message before you leave. That is why we are here. Okay. This time, what has God said again? <laughs> mm. Mr. Mayowa, this Lord, this is the Lord. Jesus has given you a nice promotion. Yeah. Why can't you give him a place in your heart? <laughs> All right, Mr. Matthias. I would like to ask you a question. Uh, now, okay. of what use is believing or bowing to a Jesus that has little or no meaning to me? Huh. Remember, without believing or bowing down to this Jesus you talk about every time, I have a good job, good home, good wife and children, and without believing on this Jesus or bow down to this Jesus, I been given a promotion and a beautiful appointment as the managing director of the London office. <laughs> what else? Huh. He made the promotion and a new appointment for you, Mr. Mayo. <laughs> How? How? What do you mean? Mr. Mayo, okay. The word of God says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 about this Jesus Christ mm -hmm. that uh, by him were all things created mm -hmm. both things in heaven and things on earth mm -hmm. visible and invisible whether they be true or dominion power or principality all things were created for him and by him mm -hmm. <laughs> And what does that supposed to mean? It means all things were created by this Jesus Christ. So he created your life. Why can't you give it to him? Let him handle it and direct it. <laughs> you are out of your mind, Mr. Matthews. <laughs> he created my life and I've not been serving him or worshipping him or doing his business since all these years. And yet my life has been so good, peaceful and progressive. And I've just been given a new position with a promotion. <laughs> what else do I want? I do not regret not serving your Jesus, Mr. Matthias. Because I don't know what else he can give me if I start believing on him. My own conscience is my own Lord, Mr. Matthias. And as long as I don't do any evil to any man, I believe no evil can overcome me. Right? Mr. Mayowa, that is a fruitless philosophy. That belief can't rescue you from the hand of the devil. Look here, Mr. Matthews. Look here, if you have come here to greet me and you want us to enjoy a friendly atmosphere together, please stop this nonsense.
And this is Mrs. Hazan, the confidential secretary of the MD. I have heard much about you in Nigeria. I'm pleased to meet you. Thank you very much, sir. We are very happy to have you now. Thank you. We've been expecting you, sir. All arrangements have been made. Uh, we'll take you to your official residence immediately. The rest members of the staff will be expecting your money. Then shall we go now? Mr. Dan Lawrence. Yes. Please see me in my office now to give me a detailed knowledge of the potential and personality of the junior staff. Yes. Uh, please have your seat. Sit down. Um, woman, you will introduce yourself the other time as the confidential secretary of the managing director. Yes, sir. Uh, please believe me again. Hazan, sir. I'm Mrs. Hazan. Mrs. Hazan. Yes, sir. Mrs. Hazan, good. Please, all letters bearing the name of Mr. Bolu Balageshi, the former managing director, should not be opened. They should send them to my office. I have an order from the chairman to send such letters to the headquarters in Lagos. Right? Yes, finally, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I learned on my arrival this morning that there is a religious meeting going on in this same building. Please, is it true, Director of Administration? Yes, MP. They hold their meetings every Wednesday during the lunch break for 30 minutes. And who is the leader or the coordinator of the religious group? Uh, the leader was sacked some time ago by the former managing director. And uh, another leader has just been appointed by the group. And who is the new leader now? I am, sir. You? The director of administration and at the same time, a religious fellowship leader in this same company. Beg your pardon, sir. Is anything strange in it? Oh, well, I wonder what you are administering then. It's just a small Christian fellowship and it doesn't disturb the business administration of the company. We don't gather during the official hours. It's during the lunch break and it's just for 30 minutes. Um, my being the Christian fellowship leader is a part. And my being the director of administration is quite different, sir. No. No, I am the managing director of this company. And I am responsible for the way it should be handled. You will have to pick one out of the two, Mr. Brown. Beg your pardon, sir. You are free to choose one out of the two responsibilities, Mrs. Brown. You either choose to remain the director of administration of this company and abandon your leadership, or you choose to cling to your religious fellowship and vacate your position for someone else whose loyalty will not be divided between his religion and his daily business. Mrs. Pratt. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for an answer. Are you the director of administration of this company or a religious fellowship leader? Excuse me, sir. I... Maybe you could um, give her some time to think over the choices. She... she would uh, come tomorrow for... with a reply, sir. Uh, no. I don't do things like that. If I do that, there will be room for unnecessary deliberations among staff members. I won't have to give you the answer now. Sir. I'm all here. I have been in this company 
Ma Pasqua ieri, anzi, le soffrire in specifico. Ma la donna soffre con l'intelligenza, in my duty. All my colleagues can be any of them. And uh, I have been a Christian. I've born again Christian for the past 10 years. And by the grace of that Jesus Christ, whom I gave my life to, I am what I am today. He made me what I am today. He gave me a job. And when the former leader of the fellowship left the company, I chose to take it up. I chose to take up the responsibility. Mrs. And Pratt, I'm expecting an answer. Will you answer my question, please? I am not interested in your story. All right, sir. We, we will not hold the meeting in this building again. We will, we will shift the welcome meeting to another place. Welcome meeting to another place. But you will still be the fellowship leader? Then you have made your choice. You are fired. I can't force you to abandon your religious commitments, Mrs. Pratt. But I'm afraid I'm not convinced you can manage it through assignments effectively. So I relieve you of your post as the director of administration of this company. You are fired. And in addition to this, ladies and gentlemen, by my own discretion, I see it very unproductive to this company to still allow the existence of any religious group in this company. This is a serious-minded business organization that is out to make profit and not a religious establishment. So, any religious meeting or gathering in this company is hereby declared prohibited. I'm sorry I offended any of you. It is all for the progress of our dear company. Thank you. Mrs. Lillian Pratt. I'm a medical practitioner, a psychiatrist to be specific. I work in a psychiatric hospital in East London. Uh, well, I'm here with my wife with regards to what happened in the office this afternoon. Oh, you mean you've come to apologize? Ah, sorry, I can't change my decision. Uh, that's why I've sent uh, a letter uh, to that effect this afternoon. Okay, okay. Uh, well, we've already gotten over the shock after praying over it this evening at our home. 
and the Lord has actually assured us that he's going to make a way for us in the wilderness and create a river for us in the desert. And then, why are you here when you know you're gotten over the shock? The Lord has sent us to you. To do what? To share the gospel of the salvation of, salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ with you. <laughs> Please, I'm not interested. But, so why? Because I'm not interested in your Jesus. He was a man like myself. <laughs> he was a Jew, I'm a Nigerian. He was a prophet, I'm a business executive. He came to live his life in this world just as I've come to live my life. I you know God exists, but please don't bother me with Jesus, right? This Jesus came into the world in form of a man so that he might die and shed his blood as a perfect ritual for your sins. If you believe in this perfect work of salvation, you will not perish, but have everlasting life. Please, please, I have made my stand known. I am not interested in your preaching. Please. It's okay. But before we go, let us read a scripture for you. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Thank you. I think you can go now. Because you feel you don't have need of him. But one day, you will cry bitterly in search of him. Get out of my house! you ask me to go, Baba? It's very far. And a very tiny rugged pathway leads to the river, so I couldn't go with my car. Did you get the river? Yes. You get the water? Yes. And the pond with? Yes, I got the pond with and I got the water. Good. director so that people will not become suspicious. I want him to vacate the post mysteriously. He's alone in London presently. His wife and his children are planning to go and join him over there. And I don't want that to happen. It may be difficult to, for him to leave London as quick as possible. You have told me all those things once. You are repeating them again. 
I know what you mean. You don't want him to die, is it it? Yes, I don't want him to die. And yet, you want me to do something that will make him vacate the post and come back home. Yes. Are you done? Yes, my mm -hmm. Eh, yeah, that is what we want to do now. We will make him vacate the post. That's what we want to do now. Or why do you think I sent you to that he had to go and bring some water? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Mm. We will not kill him. But we will make him vacate the post. Baba, mm -hmm. this time when he vacates the post, I must be there. You understand? I must occupy the post. He must do a complete job this time. When he vacates the post, nobody else must occupy the post but me. That is what we want to do. Do you know what that river water you have in your bottle is for? I was wondering, Baba. That river you went to, is the village river. Mm. We are all villagers fetch their waters. Mm. The river is always a busy one, except in the night. Mm. When you tell me? Yes, I understand. Hmm. All the necessary rituals, sacrifices, and all the necessary incantations have been to unseat by the Mayawa has been prepared inside this part of concoction. Mm. Now, the next thing to do is for you to perform your own part of the rituals. And what part am I to play on? You will carry this with the head and dip it inside this pot of concoction. the water inside this calabash. and all the spells used in preparing this liquid substance inside this pot, my wife's brain has been transferred into this woody head the moment you dip the woody head inside this concoction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then what will happen to him? Hmm. I will tell you. 
that river you went to mm -hmm. is always a busy one yes. because it is the village river that is where the villagers fetch their waters where the washermen and women wash their clothes mm -hmm. and the village children playfully swim Mama, mm -hmm. and we put the water from that river on this river. yes by doing that we have poured the river water into my wife's brain. Meaning what? Whenever that river is being troubled, whether anyone goes there with his water pot to fetch water, or anyone jumps inside the river to bath, or the children playfully swim in the river, Whenever that river is being troubled anyhow, my wife's brain will be in disorder. You mean madness? Mm, not complete madness. For example, in the midnight when no one goes to the river, he will be in his right senses. But during the day, as long as the people trouble the water, mm, he will not be himself. The more the river is being troubled, the more he behaves himself insanely. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he will not be a good managing director. So, he will vacate the seat for you. find on my table this morning. You may not need to write the letter again, sir. Yeah. Because the man is here from the company. Or oh, from the winning winning enterprises? Yes, sir. He is telling the general office. May oh. I bring him in? Oh yes, bring him in. Okay. Sir. Yeah, Mr. Augustine, I learned one of the Man from the Woolen Winter is here. Yes, I think he's here to discuss the marketing business with us. Yes, so come right away. Yeah, thank you. Augustine, what you call our marketing manager. Uh, Mr. Augustine, nice meeting you. You're welcome, sir. I'm Kevin Dobler. I think. Yes. I'm Thank you. Uh, I saw the advert you placed in the papers. I was the one who called your officer yesterday. I dropped my office address and phone number. Uh, you remember? Yes. We were even thinking on how to write you to give you details of the business operations of our company here in London. 
who will land uh, through your advance that your company can supply up to 200 tons of palm kernel or cocoa beans? Yes, yes. If we can link up with that company headquarters in Nigeria and to supply tons of palm kernel, uh, cocoa beans, and even bran nuts. Oh, yeah. That's very good. You see, because my company will make use of uh, palm kernels and all this stuff for raw materials to produce creams, soaps, mm -hmm. and uh, we would appreciate it if you could supply such large quantity. Palm kernel? Yes, yes. Uh, we need that uh, raw material very urgently. Mm -hmm. Is it because we are running out of that stock? We will need about 250 tons of palm kernel. Mm -hmm. In about four weeks from now. Would you be able to supply us about 250 tons? Can you make contact with the hotels to supply us uh, 250 tons of tons? Now, that's why I came in. Mr. Augustine, what has happened to him? It's mysterious. He was discussing with one of the men from Winnie Wilton Enterprises when he suddenly grabbed his head and started crying in pain. I don't know what has happened to him. Mr. Lisa. Mr. Lisa. Yes, yes. Are you all right now? Yes. I think, I think uh, I'm beginning to be all right. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, I think. Uh, Begin to be hard. What this, actually this. happened, sir? I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was my head. In my head. It was beginning to. It just suddenly began to to make noises. 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 Oh, I. I really don't know. I don't know. Oh. Ah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.
Anytime from now, whenever we receive any signal from our London office, we will call on you. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Uh, Mr. Martin, how far have you gotten through yet? Okay. I want you to try the number yourself. Don't give it to your secretary. Because I don't want any of the junior staff to know anything about it yet. Okay? Bye. Yes, Mr. Dewali. Sir, we just received this fax message from the hospital in London. It came in just a few minutes ago. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Ah, let me see. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Yes, good. Mr. Martin, please come over quickly. We've got a message from the hospital. Mm. Sir, I don't think uh, the doctor is uh, telling the truth. What do you mean? Um, you see, the doctor said that Mr. Mayawa behaved insanely yesterday and was brought to the hospital. Then he said that um, he was okay throughout the night, that there was nothing wrong with him. And there was nothing wrong with him, even at the time that they were faxing the message. So, sir, I think that um, Mr. Mayor White isn't uh, all right yet. I don't think he is perfectly all right. I don't think he can be perfectly all right. Yeah, it's coming. Ah, I just got through, sir. Ah. Yeah, I just spoke with the doctor right now. Yeah, fine. He said that uh, Mr. Mayowa has been all right throughout the night, even up till this morning. And then, he even said that they conducted a lot of emergency tests on him and they found nothing wrong on him. Mm. So he suggests that he should get back to work with some light drugs. Uh, this is the same information to speak to as fast to us. This is it. Uh -huh. Mr. Diwali is raising another, another suggestion. But what suggestion is it? What is this, sir? Well, um, I think if, uh, I think Mr. Bayola should be allowed to remain in hospital, I think his uh, health condition is asserted. Because the doctor said that he put off an insane behavior and he was taken to the hospital. Then over the night, up to the morning, the doctor didn't find anything wrong with him. 
I don't think um, he should be allowed to continue his work and return to the office immediately because his health is not yet stable. It's a personal opinion, sir, but I think um, his health needs to be well monitored by the doctors. Hey, but I don't think the managing director of the company should be kept in the hospital like that after several tests have been run on him and it has been declared by the medical practitioner that there is nothing wrong with him. And it, 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 it will not be comfortable for him to stay in the hospital and be sleeping and be doing nothing. If you are right. I think so too. He should be discharged from the hospital. Uh, Mr. Martin. Yes. Get the hospital again and tell the doctor just that. Thank you very much. Um, and there's no cause for alarm again. The doctor said he's uh, perfectly okay now. Throughout the night he was normal. He said he ran several tests on him. Um, but he found nothing wrong with him. So Mr. Maya was now perfectly okay. Uh, but he said that he would uh, wait for a directive from the uh, headquarters in Lagos whether to discharge him immediately or not. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Actually, I thank you all for your concern. I am now perfectly all right. Actually, I can't just understand what has gone wrong. Everything is now all right. Actually, I can't understand the nature of the headache. It just came on me suddenly yesterday morning. Uh, but I'm more right now, sir. I'm happy to hear that. Some produce merchants phoned me that they have last stock of palm kernel and cashew nuts. I told them I will phone them later. So try and check on White Mamba Company and the Stratified Rock Manufacturing Company. You can also call on the Winnie Will team where they, are, they will have need of palm kernel. Are you getting me? Okay. Check on Doma Window Industry where they will have a need of a cashew nuts. Sir, uh, men from the Winnie the Will team, but... Yes. You mean the men from uh, Winnie the Will team? Hello? Mr. Mayowa? Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. 
no, 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 no,
Ola. Ta mura ni abe you do give what you want. Then I'm the Quran, Quran. is getting out of hand and we need to take action fast I regret to announce to you that it has been confirmed that Mr. Batemayowa the newly appointed MD of our London office is seriously mentally ill what? his whereabouts has not even been known since yesterday morning he was spotted by someone near a large warehouse in East London, mm. walking about barefooted. Oh. Now, this is an urgent assignment. His wife must not hear of this. Second, we need to send someone to our London office to stand in as the managing, managing director there. Mm. In addition, he must make it his responsibility to find Mr. Mayor and make sure that he's taken care of and sent him back to Nigeria. Mm. Yes, Director of Operations. Um, Mr. Chairman, this is a very sad situation. I'm very sorry indeed. I would like to volunteer to help the situation. I would look for Mr. Mayowa and I'll bring him back home, sir. No, Mr. Tewali. I prefer to send Mr. Martin. The managing director of our head office. If, if he goes, I can still combine his assignment with mine, as I've been doing before. But if you go, I can't trust anyone else with your duty as the director of operations. So, 
You stay behind, let him go and take over as the managing director of our London office. <coughs> Mr. Martins. Yes, Mr. Chairman. This is a serious emergency. You have to leave for London tomorrow afternoon. Mr. Mayawa must be found and taken to a hospital to be cared for. Mm. As soon as he gets well, send him back to Nigeria. Yes, Mr. Chairman. The meeting is over. Thank you very much. belongs to you. If you if you fall off his back, young man, will you sell off the, the horse because of that? Huh? Well may not stack away. <laughs> but I'm falling from the back of the horse twice already. Yes. If this horse truly belongs to you, you will not sell off the horse. You have to rise on his back. You have to rise on the on the back of this horse again. Then, if I don't ride that horse, nobody will. <laughs> yes, you have got my profile. If the horse truly belongs to you, no one else will enjoy riding on his back. Death, death. Who will rise on that horse? Death! Yeah, hey! You're a Daddy. What you tell me? No one else. When is the man leaving for London? He's leaving tomorrow afternoon, Baba.
We don't talk on food. Let me answer his question. Stop it. Yes. I will come back and take you with me to London. Yes, and you too, and you too, and mommy too, all of you. All of us are going with daddy, but first, daddy will go there and prepare the place for us. I will be going to my school there. Yes. And me too. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Sender's name there. What's written inside? It's handwritten. Uh -uh. Dear Mr. Martins, for the sake of your life and security of your children, do not write on this horse. This horse belongs to me. I have fallen off the back of this horse twice. Yet, the horse is mine. If I don't have this horse, then nobody will. Yours sincerely, the owner of the horse. What does this mean, dear? I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. The horse. Dios. Whoever wrote this letter said he has fallen off the back. He had fallen off the back of the horse twice. He warned you not to ride on the horse. And I, he said, if he doesn't ride the horse, nobody will. I don't know what the. Horse means the horse. He said, for the sake of your life <laughs> and the security of our children. Don't don't worry about that. Relax. The Lord is our shepherd. Yes. No fox can come near us. <laughs> the angel of the Lord come around they that fear the Lord. Hmm. We didn't steal any man's horse, did we? No. Mm -hmm. And then it's whatever horse we find ourselves riding on, the Lord gave it to us. Hmm. So, even if we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. Yes. I wish I knew the man that wrote this letter. And I will have told him that we are not riding on any man's horse. Hmm. Whatever horse we find ourselves riding now is given to us by the Lord. So we are riding the Lord's horse. Mm. Mm. The Lord is in charge. And the angels of God are on guard. Mm.
very very interesting. I am very very happy to be here in your midst as the newly appointed managing director of this company here in London. The chairman of this company has um, charged me with a special emergency assignment of looking for Mr. Bademayowa. He said I should try as much as possible to find Mr. Bademayowa, take care of him, and send him back to Nigeria as soon as he gets better. Mr. Dan Lawrence and then Mr. Bogosi, what you could yeah. They informed me that Mr. Bademayowa was last seen by a truck driver uh, near a park in the East London. We have been instructed not to inform the police so as not to make the matter public. But I assure you, we shall find him within two days. Excuse me, sir. Yes, it is and that. For over four days now, we've been looking for him without getting him. We have sent information to many of our associate friends around. I don't think it would be best enough for us to stay too long on this matter without officially informing the police. No. No. No, Mr. Zayn. Um, we will find him and take care of him. But excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Since all these problems have started, have you once tried to call God into this matter? I beg your pardon, sir. You have been having problems upon problems in this company, right in this office. One managing director had just suddenly died, and the other one has become insane, in serious mental problem. He has been an insane man walking barefooted on the street of London. Have you once tried to hold a very serious prayer meetings upon this problem? Listen, let me tell you something. If two former managing directors have been forced to quit this seat by some demonic forces here in London or somewhere else, then let me tell you, I am sent here by God and not by man. You hear that? And when God plants a tree, no man can root it out. No man. No man. Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. No, listen, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, let me, all of you listen. All these problems are happening here in this company because you all refuse to acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ. May I ask, Eddie, sir, who are you referring to? You, of course. All of you. All of you. Why can't you just reason? Your first managing director just died a mysterious death. And the former one suddenly becoming insane right in this office. Why can't you reason it that this has to be the operation of the devil? Hmm? Now, a new managing director has come. And I know how to handle the whole situation, protect this company, and defend myself. May I now be allowed to speak, sir? Are you my speak? Thank you, sir. No, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. The first managing director died mysteriously. And the former managing director became mad and has now become what he is now because both of them did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Therefore, God gave them over to a reprobate man so as to do things that are not convenient. Do you realize you just quote a scripture now? Yes, I have just quoted from Romans chapter 1, verse 19. Ah. <laughs> you are a Christian then? A deacon in a Pentecostal church. 
Pentecostal church? Really? Sir, 70% of the staff members of this company are firebrand, born again children of God. What? Interesting. <laughs> Including Mrs. Hazan and Mr. Augustine Macho. Really? Many of the staff members of this company got born again, got saved through Mr. Rollins and uh, Mrs. William Pratt. Who are John Rollins and uh, William Pratt? They, they were once our staff members. Brother John Rollins was our uh, public relations officer. He's a Togolese. Whereas Mrs. William Pratt was the director of administration. Then why did they leave? Why did they leave? They did not leave, sir. They, they were fired. Fired? Who fired them? The first managing director, Mr. Bolu Bolageshi, um, fired bro, John Rowlands because he dared to walk into his office to preach to him. Whereas Mrs. Lillian Pratt was sacked by Mr. Badimaiwa because uh, Mrs. Lillian Pratt was a fellowship leader of the company. Is that so? Pratt is on the line. Who? Oh. Mrs. Liam Pratt. She said she would like to speak to a senior executive. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, this is uh, Ola Martins, the new managing director. What? Oh, Mrs. Pratt. What? They have found Mr. Madiwayo. Oh, oh, please go. Eh? That Mr. Madiwayo is with you over there? In a psychiatric hospital? Good. Good, good. Very good. Now, you see, you give the description to Mr. Dan Lawrence. Yeah. Please hold on. Mr. Dan Lawrence. Come and take down the description. He's, she said Pamela something. I don't know anywhere here. 
Did she say Pamela Brenda Psychiatric Hospital, sir? That's what she said. I know the place, sir. That's where her husband works. Is this proud? Hmm. He knows the place. So we'll be there in about um, 15 or 20 minutes time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Pamela Brenda is proud, sir. We cannot get there in 15 minutes. It will take us about an hour. Thank God. Thank God. Since you know the place. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we just write song by joining our hands and sing this song of the Lord. It's good. This is fantastic. It's interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. He is Lord, He is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead, He is Lord. Director of administration of our company. You are right, sir. You are welcome. And I'm glad to see you back. Me too. You're we learned that he is here, Mr. Bademayor. Oh, yes. We brought him here yesterday evening. Mm. You know, throughout the night, he was so quiet. But this morning, it just suddenly went wild. You can come. Come and see him. My wife is there with him. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you. You were the one I speak with in the morning. Yeah. And you must be the popular Mrs. Gillian Pratt. I guess you are. The, the former director of administration and the fellowship leader of our company. I guess you are, right, sir. And I learned that since you left the company, the prayer and the Christian fellowship have stopped. I didn't do it. He did it. He sacked me and bind the Christian fellowship. Mm -hmm. Well, we resumed it this morning again. The Christian fellowship have been re-established in the company. Is that so? That was the truth. Wow. And then Mrs. Azan has been appointed as the as the acting fellowship leader of the company, pending the time of the resumption of the former leader. But you didn't tell me that on the meeting with the money truck. And I am saying it right now that you have become the acting fellowship leader of the company, pending the resumption of the former leader. I beg your pardon, sir. You are resuming as the director of administration of this company in two weeks' time. That is at the end of at the end of this month. That means you just missed a month in the office. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are very, very grateful indeed. 
bless you richly. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How is he doing now? Well, you mean my wife? My wife is doing. Well, throughout the night, he was so peaceful. But suddenly this morning, he just went wild. We'll give him any, we'll give him some drugs and some injections. And that, that's why he's uh, trust. Hmm. Ah, I think it's an attack. Attack? A spiritual attack. We spoke together for some time in the night. Though he hates the gospel, he was forced to listen to it. It was while I was praying for him that I had the feeling that he was being attacked. Mm -hmm. Sir, so, I think in addition to medical support, all right, spiritual support will also help a great deal. Okay. Uh, prayer will play a very good role. See, that reminds me. We got an information from his medical record from the first hospital that attended to him. According to them, after running a series of tests and diagnosis on him, they found nothing wrong with him. But that during the day, he is always very violent and dangerous. You see, gentlemen and uh, ladies, I have a very strong conviction in my spirit that there is a strong demonic attack against the seat of the managing director of the London branch of this company. <laughs> the first managing director suddenly died mysteriously. And the, and the, and the, and the former managing director went mentally deranged. And this new managing director got a threat letter a night before his departure from Nigeria. I got a threat letter before I departed from Nigeria. Threat letter? From where? I don't know. I didn't know how the letter got into my house. But the letter read like this. Dear Mr. Martin, for the sake of your life and the security of your wife and children, do not ride on this horse. Horse? Which horse? I don't know. He father said the horse belongs to him and that he had fallen off the back of the horse twice. He said he had fallen off the back of the horse twice. Hey, even the last line of the letter said, if I don't have the horse, then nobody will. <laughs> He's lying. Who? Whoever wrote that letter? He is lying. <laughs> yeah, he said if he didn't have a horse, nobody would. Yes, yes. He's a liar. Because you've already got a horse. What? And what? God gave it to you. Nobody can take it from you. What horse? What does the horse mean? Don't you understand, sir? The horse is the seat of the managing director of the company here in London. Whoever have caused the mysterious death of the first MD and the insanity of Mr. Mayowa is the top executive staff of the company in Nigeria, who also has high qualification to have the seat of the managing director. Mm -hmm. Mr. Martin, sir, well, I don't know how the headquarters look like in Nigeria. I'm not a Nigerian, and I've never been to Nigeria before. I'm a Zambian. But all these spiritual attacks have been coming from the headquarters in Nigeria. I think Mrs. Pratt is right. Things are now getting clearer. And if the person says he had fallen off the back of the horse twice, then he had fallen the third time because the horse now belongs to the Lord. Thanks, Mrs. Pratt. 
Thanks. I think you are right. Things are now clearer. I think I now understand. I think I know the person. Who is he? Uh, uh, you can't know the person, can you? You are right. You are right, I can. And they, but if he says he is falling off the back of the horse twice, he's falling the third time. Baba, he is now working in London. He contacted the chairman today. He said that Mr. Mayowa has now been found and that Mr. Mayowa is now in the hospital in London. Did he say the man is getting better? No, he didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. Better, better. Never. The man can never get better as long as that river is flowing and people are going there. Now, Baba, we have given Mr. Martins enough time to ride on the back of my horse. Now, it's time for him to get off the back of my horse. Yeah, you man. Now, Omoshare, what do you want us to do to him? Baba, I have given my verdict. Death. I want him to die. Like Bulugo Lageshi. You want us to shoot him as we did to the first man? That's right. Shoot him, Baba. We will fire him. Let him die. Let him bring his corpse back to Nigeria as we did to Bulugo Lageshi. Kill him! That's what I want. consuming fire of God to burn the root of the problem, mm -hmm. to burn the root of this sickness. Mm -hmm. Open your Bible mm -hmm. to Psalm 11 verse 16. Verse 11, Psalm 11 verse 6. It says, Upon the wicked the Lord shall rain fire, sneers, and horrible tempest. Mm -hmm. And this shall be the portion of their cup. Yes. Amen. Amen. Therefore Amen. we shall pray mm. that the Lord will rain fire, snares, horrible tempest upon the root of the problem of Mr. Mayowa. That's right. That the consuming fire of God will burn the roots mm. to ashes. Amen. Pray that the fire of God will consume Now, 
Et mon bon loué. Hein? Je vais te foutre mine déjà. Hein? Mais d'un. Ou à l'offre. Chute de l'image est part de l'habitude. Turn your back. I want to shoot. I believe it. I believe it. Sincerely apologize to you all decent 
and dedicated workers of this great company. I now know the reason why you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. He is good. He is merciful. Imagine if he could heal and deliver me, his enemy, and forgive me all my sins, then he is worthy of all my love my respect and obedience. Therefore, my people and this great company, I stand before you all this morning to publicly announce to you that yesterday evening, I, or Nathalie Mayor, gave my whole life the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The chairman has given instruction that I have to come back home to Nigeria as soon as I get better. And I think I am in a better position now, body, soul, and spirit. Mm. So I should leave for Lagos tomorrow evening. And I therefore want to implore you all to keep on serving this Jesus. You have nothing to lose serving him, but you have everything to gain. And please give your fullest support to the leadership of Mr. Olamatis as the new efficient and intelligent managing director of this our great company in London. Thank you all. Um Mr. Yes sir. Please help me get the chairman at the headquarters. I want to pass good news across to me. I I would like to announce that I have had Mrs. Pratt to resume in this office in two weeks' time. <laughs> nah, she will have to resume her duty as the director of administration of this company by the beginning of next month. And Mr. Mayowa, I hope that is good with you. I am very, very happy, Mr. Mattis. I am very, very happy. Thank you for helping me to correct the mistake I have made. I am happy. He is on the line, sir. The chairman is on the line. Okay. Good morning, sir. Mr. Mattis, uh, how are you? Yeah, fine, sir. How far about Mr. Mayowa? Have they been able to find him? We are beginning to get worried here. Uh, for the past few weeks now, his wife has been worrying us. Please try to look for him quickly. And when he gets him, take him to a hospital. And when he gets better a bit, send him back home. Is the good news I want to pass across to you. Eh? Yes. Mr. Mayawa is here with me right now. And the rest member of staff are all here with me. You want me to comment on the personality of Mr. Mayawa right now? Is he there with you now? Sir. Mr. Mayowa is now a completely changed person. He is perfectly all right now, body, soul, and spirit. Yes, there was a problem quite right. But the root of the problems have all been cleared. The problem has been rooted out. And so, Mr. Mayowa is now in a perfect state of mind. Wonderful. Let me speak with him. All right, sir. I'd like to 
reste le contio. Tiens. Comment ça Mr. Mayowa. Ah, wonderful. Are you alright now? Yes, I am perfectly alright now, sir. Uh, there was a problem, I admit. But everything is now over. Yes, sir. Uh, things are now back to normal. I am perfectly alright now, body, soul and spirit. Uh, uh, Mr. Martins, uh, the new managing director, can testify to it, sir. And when I get there on Thursday morning, I want to get to the end of this YouTube we see it, sir. Give the phone back to Mr. Martin. Eh? Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm the line, sir. What are you suggesting? Mr. Mayowa is in a very good state of mind now. He's perfectly okay. So, he can resume his work as the managing director of the London office here. Oh. I keep my word for it. You mean you agree for him to stay in London while you call back home? Yes. Okay, that's all right. You have my permission to hand over to him and come back home. When do you expect you? I should report back in the head office by Thursday morning. Okay, that's all right. I'll be expecting you. Bye. Thank you very much. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the chairman's permission to hand over back to Mr. Bademayo as the director the managing director of this London office. I should report back to the headquarters in Lagos by Thursday morning. So I should leave for Nigeria tomorrow evening. I never expected this. I never expected this. Oh, Mr. Martins, you have shown me an example of a good pastier. Oh, thank you, Mr. Martins. Thank you, Mr. Martins. And I thank you all. I will never disappoint you, Jesus. I thank you. I never expected this. Oh, I never. Oh. oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I never expected this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I thank you. I will never disappoint you, Jesus. I thank you. Chairman, of course, sir. 
The chairman will see me. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, tell him I'll be with him soon. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, please, let's go to the office. Thank you. Yes. Come in. Ah, well done, sir. Uh, I was told uh, you wanted to see me, sir. Oh, yes. Mr. Diwali. Yes, sir. I've got a good news for you from London. Ah. Uh, have you found Mr. Majua, or is he still locked up uh, in a hospital? <laughs> He's not perfectly all right. Safe and sound. Spirit, body and soul. Ah, uh, but... Sir, how could you be so sure? The condition of his health is so bad. He could die at any time, sir. In fact, his condition is so perfect now that Mr. Martins will no, we, we not need to stay in London any longer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayawa will take over his London office as the managing director while Mr. Martins will come home tomorrow evening to resume his duty. <laughs> Okay. I let to come in. That's very good. Yes, sir. I did it you. You're welcome. Sir. Good morning. How are you? I you. You're welcome, sir. I you. Yes, sir. Good morning. You're welcome, sir. Can I have you? You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eh, Siama, I am Osunyawo, the president of the Union. Oh, for you. Mm. 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 On your village, village. Yeah, welcome, sir. Oh, 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 secretary, oh, 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 Somebody told us that you need plenty, plenty bag of palm camel. Mm. No, that's right. And we have it mm. in our village. Mm. Plenty. Mm. No time. No time. Okay. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. We need up to 250 tons of our canal. I don't know whether we're able to supply. Even if you want more than that, <laughs> we can even tell all, all the farmers in the uh, two village not to say to anybody. Mm -hmm. Then we take our money, buy from them, sell for you. If you want 500 tons, we have it in a border, plenty over. Okay. Mm. How, how are you going to bring them here? As we know, the number you need now. Then, when we get ready, we come and tell you. Then, if the agreement, agreement mm -hmm. is balanced, <laughs> then you come with your lorry to come and carry them. Yeah, money is no problem. Hey. No, sir. Sir, no. Now you collect some cash. 
Ну, про... Эй! Ту, ту, а. ту. А ты успел обратить? Я думаю, что это чипада, а то, что это именно мисало. А что ты думаешь? Thank <laughs> you. 